Good morning. Before we start our uh, letter of the alphabet today, I wanted to remind you of your boards that Miss Pam and Miss Erin sent out to you. Um, if you are coming to the church building and you are sitting there and listening to Mr. Mark, um, this is for you to write notes from our worship time together. So the first thing says our speaker is, so we would write on there, Mr. Mark, or you could put Mr. Mason, however you address him. The next section says, um, we are reading, Today was Isaiah 55, verses 5 through 9. Verses 5 through 9. I wrote, started to write 6 instead of 5. Let me change that. Okay. So if you are not there today, you could go home and, or you are at home, sorry, and read Isaiah 55, 5 through 9, because Mark talked about what I learned about God in today's passage, God's love is everlasting. That's what our letter today, one of our E's is going to be is everlasting. Maybe words that you didn't understand. He talked about God being persistent and um, forgiveness. Maybe you're not, don't really understand that word. Um, and then you have a place to write your favorite song that we sang in worship today. Um, and I would put here for mine, cloudless day. It was a beautiful morning. There was not a cloud in the sky. And Mr. Jason led us in the song, Cloudless Day. Oh, the land of cloudless day. Oh, the land of an unclouded sky. Um, the most important thing I learned was God's love does not depend on what I do. It depends on what Jesus did on the cross. So God is always going to love and God is always going to pursue. There's another word, pursue. You might not be familiar with that word, pursue, to go after. And persistent means you keep doing it, you keep doing it, you keep doing it. You don't give up. That's what persistent means. So God's love, you could put a heart, and his forgiveness are for me always. It's not what I do, it's what Jesus did on the cross. How can I apply this message to my life? I can live in that abundant love. Mr. Mark says there's no such thing as somebody squeaking into heaven. If you've ever heard the expression, well, I... I might just squeak in. That means like I might just, for example, I might just get on the team. I'm not really that good, but I might just squeak in. Or I might just squeak through passing this test. Like maybe I'm not very good at it, but I might squeak through. Okay? No. We live in abundant. That means everlasting goes on and on and on and on. It's not a little bit. It's a lot, okay? That's the abundant love of God. So I want to encourage you to take those and um, use them. If you're not uh, at 
the parking lot worship yet, you can listen to the lesson online and then you can fill that out um, and still be part of Bible class and worship in that in that way, okay? All right, God's everlasting love. Before we start with that, let's review our books of the Old Testament that we were learning. Um, some of you learned these five years ago. Some of you may be longer ago than that. And some of you maybe just started learning them this past year um, when uh, we started uh, studying in the fall. Um, all the church together was doing the same study. But let's go through um, with the motions that I showed you um, from back in the spring when we had to stay home and couldn't go to Bible class anymore. Ready? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, Gathering the Grain, 1st and 2nd Samuel, put on that coat that his mother brought him every year. 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Building the Wall, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, a time for everything, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, it's about love, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Okay. Let's review our first four letters. A, God is an awesome, almighty God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. B. Beautiful one and the bread of life. Remember that we talked about the bread of life. C is caring creator that God created all the heavens and the earth. Let's sing our creation song. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day three, day three, God made land and plants and trees. Day three, day three, God made land and plants and seas. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Sixth day, sixth day, God made animals a man that day. Sixth day, sixth day, God made animals a man that day. 
day seven, day seven. God has rested in his heaven. Day seven, day seven. God has rested in his heaven. And then the letter D was divine deliver. God is our deliverer, deliverer, deliverer. God is our deliverer, he sets us free. God is our deliverer, deliverer, deliverer. God is our deliverer, he sets us free. Excuse me, I had an itch there. Okay, and then today is God is exalted and everlasting. Okay, let's look at this word everlasting first. It's broken into two words if you break it up. Everlasting. Okay, lasting means something that goes on, right? If um, you have a lasting friendship with someone, then that means your friendship continues. It goes on and on. Everlasting means it goes on forever. So God is forever. He was before the beginning of the world and he will be forever. There will be no end. Let's read a verse, a couple verses in fact, that tell us about these qualities of God. Okay. Why do we want to learn about these? Because the more we learn about God, the more in love with him we will be. Because he is everlasting and he is so wonderful. Psalm chapter 90 and verse 2. It has on your B there. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Or as one version says, from beginning to end, you are God. But really, there's no end to God. So from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And then um, let's look at some verses about um, him being exalted. Okay. Psalm 41. Oh, this says everlasting also. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. And then Psalm 100 and verse 5 says, my page is sticking together here. For the Lord is good. His everlasting love continues forever. And his faithfulness continues to each generation. Then we're going to look at Job. The book of Job where Job got all those sores on his body. Job chapter 36 and verse 22. Remember, the reason that we learn the books of the Bible is so that you can find scriptures in your Bible. So take the time to stop and look up these verses. Um, if I didn't tell you all of them, I'm sorry. The first one was Psalm 41, 13, then Psalm 90, verse 2. Well, that was the first one, I think. Psalm 100, verse 5, and now we're in Job chapter 36 and verse 22. Look, God is all-powerful. Who is a teacher like him? And then Psalm 21 and verse 13 says, Rise up, O Lord, in all your power. With music and singing, we exalt you. 
or as this version says, with music and singing, we celebrate your mighty acts. That goes along with um, our letter C about his creation, that we celebrate his mighty acts. And then the last one I want to read you is from the book of Nehemiah. When they rebuilt the wall of Jerusalem. And that's Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 5. Then the leaders of the Levites, and it lists a whole bunch of names there, called out to the people, Stand up and praise the Lord your God, for he lives from everlasting to everlasting. Then they prayed, May your glorious name be praised. May it be exalted above all blessing and praise. So exalted. What does exalted mean? Lift it up. If you exalt someone, you you take note of them and you you lift them up. You give them praise or you tell them you're proud of them or you... Um, Congratulate them for something that they've done. Okay? The opposite of exalt would be to put down. Okay? God is to be exalted. He is above all of us. As Mr. Mark read in his scripture this morning, that scripture Isaiah 55, that um, we were talking about a minute ago, in verse 9, it, 8 and 9, it says, My thoughts, this is God talking, are nothing like your thoughts. My, my thoughts are not your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So even though we can't understand all about God, even though we don't understand everything about him. And we don't understand everything in his word. He will give us that abundant life. He will love us with an everlasting love because he is love. And he is everlasting. So let's remember those two words for the letter E, exalt and everlasting. Something that you could do, we can't do it right now. Um, when I taught this, we had stars on the ceiling and we turned out the lights and then we turned them back on and, and the, they were those kind of stars that glow um, in the dark after you've had the lights on and they were stuck on the ceiling in the classroom. But I would encourage you tonight to go out and look at the stars. And as you're looking at the stars, exalt God. Give him praise. Thank him for the beauty and the glorious universe that he created that we don't even know um, how far it goes on and on and on and on. Okay? All right. I will see you next time and we will do the letter F.